Hey guys, what's up? It's Mishi here. And today I'm gonna to talk about one of the most difficult parts about having borderline personality disorder, in my opinion. Um, so friendships. Friendships are what keeps me going and I'm sure keeps a lot of people going is having friends and people in your life that respect you and want the best for you no matter what. So when I was growing up, I did not have like any friends. Um, I was kind of a loner. I mean, I tried to make friends, but no one really liked me. It was kind of like the weird kid. Um, so when I did have a friend, I would like really latch on to them and love them. I had a couple of friends growing up, but we never went to the same school. So I didn't really get to see them very often. They were out of town. Um, so most of high school, I was pretty much a loner. And when I left high school and got into college, is when I started to become more social. Um, the people that I knew in high school aren't, weren't in my college or university. So I kind of got to not reinvent myself, but kind of start over without people that like hated me for whatever I did. <laughs> Didn't really do much, but there's always, I guess, that one kid that gets picked on, unfortunately, was me. And it did not really help my BPD at all. But now I've definitely learned to kind of brush it off my shoulder when someone doesn't like me. It's probably just something to do with them rather than something to do with me. And I didn't really handle it well when I was not being like rejected, but like not being included in other people's stuff. And like when people would insult me instead of just like letting it slide off me, I would be like, what the fuck? And like get really like worked up about it. And so I guess a lot of people also fed off of that. So when I started to make friends, it became kind of like I want to spend all my time with them because I felt more relevant as a person because other people liked me. And a huge part of borderline personality disorder is what other people view us as. Since we don't really have that good sense of self to start with, we kind of need other people to solidify us and kind of keep us going. Otherwise, we get really lost pretty easily. So friendships are just so, so, so difficult. Especially, I find when I make friends, I don't know if it's because normal people bore me, but most of my friends have like a few of their own problems. And yeah, I guess it's because I like when people understand me. So obviously, I mean, they've had to have gone through their own stuff and have their own kind of problems. And that's what really like attracts me to other people. So when I feel like I can understand them, they can understand me rather than just like, you know, like the whatever fucking popular girl in high school that just had mommy and daddy give them everything and they've never really had to work for anything. I'm not really, I don't really feel a connection with those kinds of people. So yeah, so most of the people I have in my life and have had in my life are, you know, they come with their own set of issues <laughs> and coming from the person with like a lot of issues obviously having BPD there's a lot of different issues and and ways that we deal with sexual situations and that can either reflect positively or negatively so when we have friends we want to spend all of our time with them we want to you know go out and do stuff and we have to make sure, like, we have to ask them, like, what should we do, you know, like, advice and stuff. It's very important to us. So the idealization aspect is very, very strong. When I meet someone, I'm like, okay, they like me. They have, a good, like, good qualities about them that I see. They're very nice and open. They're willing to be my friends. So obviously, they're pretty great people, right? And so then I just see them in that, like, shiny, shiny, like, light, like, you know, they're sparkly <laughs> or whatever. And I do genuinely, genuinely care about people so much. When I, you know, give a shit about you, you know, that's that's not me being fake. I am, like, I, I don't even know if I could be fake if I tried. I can't really pretend to like someone if I dislike them. Like, if I dislike you, then it's just so obvious. And if I like you, then I'm nice. So I'm not usually nice. Well, I'm not to say that I'm not nice to everyone, but... If I want to be your friend, that's me genuine, straight up wanting to be your friend and caring about you because that's what happens when you have a friend, right? You're supposed to care about them. So I easily misinterpret people's good intentions as fake. So I've had a few friends that are just like so fake and I don't see it because they're in that like 
idealization, that high aspect. I think they're like, you know, amazing. I can't see any faults in them. And so it kind of, it, it kind of doesn't like show up on my radar that they could in fact just be fake and just want to be friends with me for their own superficial reasons. Borderline attract narcissists because we feed them everything they want to hear. When I'm a good friend with someone, you know, I'm obviously going to boost you up because that's what, at the end of the day, are we supposed to be boosting each other up? I don't really feel like I get that back as much, but, you know, just the fact that someone is spending time with me, I get all, like, happy and stuff. So it's hard to see, and it's hard to tell a good person from a bad person just from them being nice. So I fall, like, pretty quickly. I'm pretty naive, and some people have told me, like, you just pick the worst friends. And so eventually when something does happen with me and that friend and that friendship and like the clouds have cleared and I've realized just how fucking shitty they are, it is just like, like, how could I have been so blind? I always think like that, but then I never think about that in advance before I meet someone else. It's just like the whole cycle starts over and over again. So when I ended my friendship with a narcissist who I've had in my life for quite a few years that was all kind of like all of a sudden kind of like just like a huge blow up but then I met another girl who was like really nice to me and I was like oh let's be friends you know she was like oh my god you're so pretty let me do your hair and I was like okay wow you're really nice and, and it turns out she was not so nice either so we with borderline personality disorder are not very good at judging people unless they're mean to us like right off the bat then then we know we're like you're evil but Finding those lasting relationships can be tricky and I feel like we just need that constant affection and we're, we're so genuine and it does attract people but we can't filter out that that truly good person from the truly bad person which is really difficult. So that's a little bit of BPD and friendships. I would like to expand on that in another couple of days. I'll be posting another video, kind of like a part two. So this is just kind of like the negative aspects of friendships and how it's really hard for us. So if you want to share a story about either being friends with a narcissist and then just having no idea or like your troubles with finding, you know, good lasting friendships, let me know down below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much guys.